Well, I'm really excited to be here today to talk to you about the School Enterprise Challenge, and it's a pleasure to be a part of such a wonderful panel. Um, and I really hope that by the time I finish talking to you all, you will all be really interested in using the School Enterprise Challenge methodology with the schools that you're working with. Actually, can I just have a quick show of hands of how many of you are working with schools? Okay, okay, that's a good number. Great, great. Okay, so I just want to start by telling you a bit about Teach Amanda Fish, the organisation that I work for and the organisation that is responsible for the School Enterprise Challenge. So, put simply, Teach Amanda Fish work with schools to help them set up businesses. And the reason we do that is because we don't feel, and it sounds from many of the discussions that I've heard at this conference, we don't feel that school is preparing young people adequately for the workplace that they find themselves in after school. So these businesses act as a learning platform to help students gain biz practical business skills from working on an enterprise. So this is a real life experience of running a real business that generates real profits, while at the same time gaining those all important life skills that keep coming up in the conversations we're having. And they also act as a source of additional income for schools, which is often very much needed. So the School Enterprise Challenge is the tool that I'm talking to you about today. So the School Enterprise Challenge is our way of encouraging young people from all over the world to set up and run their very own school-based enterprise. It's designed to be an entirely inclusive program so that any school, anywhere, regardless of the resources at their disposal, can have a chance to set up their own business. It's entirely free of charge to participate, everyone's welcome, and it's run as a yearly competition which provides pro various prizes as incentives to schools as well as individual teachers and students. So how does it work? So schools need to register with us first and they can either do that online or through a partner organisation. Um, they receive education and guidance materials and we've got a really comprehensive suite of education materials which take teachers all the way through the process of not knowing from the beginning of not knowing anything about how to set up a business to the point of being able to support their students to set up a fully fledged school enterprise. And as of next year we're also going to be providing all schools that participate with um, our 13 part curriculum which uses the, the process as a platform for teaching those life skills we keep talking about. Next, schools design a business plan, they send it to us, we give them feedback on how to implement it. They start up their business, they start generating profits, and then at the end of each year, they report to us and win prizes. And this is actually just the beginning of the journey that we take schools on. After that initial year of, starting, of, of taking part in the competition, they're actually invited to take part in our business development competitions, and we keep providing them with support and encouragement to grow and develop their enterprises. So in addition, we don't think it's enough for young people just to learn how to set up businesses. We think it's really important for them to learn about business in a way that, um, learn about businesses that are green and have a positive social impact. So that's where our mantra, People, Profit, Planet, comes from, and this forms quite a significant part of the programme. So as I said, it's a global country. Um, in the 2013 competition, we have schools in 81 countries worldwide taking part. Um, and in a, a crazy, crazily diverse range of contexts. So we have schools in rural Kenya. We have schools in urban Delhi. We have schools in the north of Scotland. Um, so really, it's an opportunity for any, any student anywhere to set up their own business. So one of the questions that people always ask me, and one that's always a real pleasure to answer actually, is what kinds of businesses do, do young people set up? Well, as you can see, it's a real range, and actually what we see here is young people's creativity and innov innovation really coming through. Now, don't get me wrong, we have a lot of vegetable gardens, you know, that they're, they're very popular, and that's fine, vegetable gardens are great, but you can also see here... Um, a range of the other types of businesses which schools have set up, so everything from beekeeping to website design. 
Another question people always ask me, age group. Any age group is welcome to take part. We do have a median age of between 14 and 15. Seems to be the most popular time for um, schools to engage their students with, with the programme. Uh, but actually here you can see um, one of the youngest groups of students we have taking part um, from the Birches School in South Africa. Um, and these are actually pre-primary school students. And we've had students all the way up to post-secondary taking part. So I know you're all dying to know how you can get your schools involved with this programme. Um, so really how you can get them involved depends very much on the capacity levels of the schools that you're working with. So if you're working with relatively high capacity schools who have internet access um, at least once per month, um, you can just point them in our direction and we will, we will support them through the process of taking part. Um, if you're working with lower capacity schools, that's, you know, maybe there's a language barrier involved or, or other difficulties that you can see, um, that's okay. Uh, we're working with a range of partners, including some of the ones you see up there, uh, to support schools through the process um, and to ensure that they, they are gaining as much as possible from the programme. So thank you very much for listening to me talk. Um, you've been a small audience, but a fantastic one. Um, <laughs> There are my contact details. I'm going to put some business cards out on my table as well. Um, please come and have a chat with me about how you can get your schools engaged in this programme. Thank you very much. <laughs>